Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to play your Nintendo DS games from your home screen. Now this is different than the Twilight menu hack. We're actually not gonna be utilizing Twilight at all, but the major difference is you're not gonna be able to use cheats or the widescreen patch, but you will be able to add the games from your SD card onto your home screen. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start things off on the PC, and this is pretty much the only time we're really gonna need to be on here. So you can see I have my SD card open. All we're gonna do is create a new folder, if you don't have one already, on the root of your SD card, and we're just gonna call it ROMs. Inside of that folder, we're gonna create another folder, and we're gonna call it NDS, which is Nintendo DS, and we're gonna open that up. And all we have to do is toss in our Nintendo DS ROMs into this folder, you can see I have Pokemon Heart Gold right here. I'm just gonna let that transfer. If you get a message like me, just hit continue. And uh, we'll just let this transfer. Once that's all done, we're all set on the PC and we can return back over to the 3DS. Okay, the next thing we have to do is grab the actual application that's gonna be forwarding our 3DS games from our SD card to our home screen. So we need to open up the Universal Updater. You can do this on PC, but it's a little easier just to do it through here. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Universal Updater, as well as a link for a video where I installed it. That way, uh, if any of you are struggling to get that up and running, we can get that solved. Once you're here, we can go ahead and hit the little search icon, and we're just gonna type in the letters NDS and hit search. And you're gonna see up top, we have this enlarged narwhal icon here. We're just gonna open that. And it says NDS forwarder.3dsx. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna hit confirm. And then we can go ahead and go to the little spinning icon here and watch it install. And now we can hit the home button and return to the main screen. Just hit close out of this. And now the next thing we wanna do is open up the homebrew launcher. So click on that, open it up. And you're gonna see we have an icon down at the bottom here that says NDS forwarder generator. So we're gonna open that up. And on here, it's gonna show you your SD card file structure. We're gonna to navigate to our ROMs folder that we created earlier into our NDS folder. And then we're gonna select our game. So for me, it's Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm gonna select A. And it's gonna ask, do you wish to install? I'm gonna hit yes. And install complete that quick so now if I hit the home button you're gonna see we have a new software that has been added to the home menu just hit OK and we're gonna unwrap it and we got Pokemon heart gold so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up just to verify that it does work I mean it should because all it's doing it's just a forwarder and it goes from your uh, SD card so really you're just playing the game off the SD card but uh, it might take a little longer for the first time setup. Usually when you run the game for a first time, it does a couple of initial settings, but everything seems to be running great for me right now. It sounds okay. Let me just skip ahead. Yep, and everything looks good. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like what you saw, please leave a like and let me know in the comments if you run into any problems. I will see you guys in the next video. Adios. Thank <music> you.